Hi, uh, do you work here? Work here? I am the bridge keeper. Oh, uh, how much is it to cross the bridge? To cross this bridge is completely free. Just show me a triangle. Make it three. I just have to show you three triangles? Okay. Uh, oh, look at the bridge work here. This wood makes a triangle. See? One, two, three pieces of wood that all meet each other end to end. Oh, and look, here's another triangle in this part. Show me one more triangle. Well, uh, here, let me use your staff. I'll draw a triangle. One side, two sides, three sides. They all meet. See? A perfect triangle. I can I pass now? For a tune. A tune? You said it was free. I just had to show you three triangles to cross the bridge. To cross the bridge is completely free. But you must play a tune to pass by me. A one and a two and a... Good morning. Welcome to Thursday, May 21st, 2020. Uh, there was one more Bridgekeeper episode. I've been waiting to show that one, so I just like the, the beginning part. Uh, do you work here? Work here? I'm the bridge keeper. <laughs> uh, I wish I had that uh, power. You know, anytime I said my job, that lightning would strike. Uh, <laughs> uh, so anyway, no, great to see you all. Um, first of all, a few things. I hope you've been uh, tuning in to uh, those videos, uh, the the uh, special ones or the bonus ones. I really apologize. I had some computer problems last night and uh, it was just kind of a pain in the neck. So I'm really sorry about the, that it was a little late. So hopefully you get to watch it today uh, and see the kids that were, were highlighted there. So I've really enjoyed putting those together. Those videos take a lot of time. You know, you look at a video like that and, Oh, it's only five minutes long or four minutes long. But with each picture, it's a lot of cutting and pasting and shifting and then, then trying to get the pictures to line up with the music. Uh, I'm kind of picky with that stuff, so it takes a long time. Uh, but it's well worth it, and it's been a, a pleasure to look at the pictures and just it brings back so many memories uh, for me. So there'll be two more. There'll be one tonight at 8 o'clock and then another one tomorrow uh, at 8 o'clock as well. Uh, I have to tell you something. Um, one of the most amazing experiences in my life happened yesterday. If you were there, you know what I'm talking about. The parade in front of the school. That was just simply incredible. I got to see many of you there. It was very um, emotional for me uh, on the inside. It was just, I was very overwhelmed uh, I've had some time to kind of think about it and it was just, it was so cool, uh, to see everybody. I, I enjoyed it. It, uh, and see all the teachers and all the cars. Did you know that the school gave away about 600 cookies, 600 cookies? Yeah. Uh, I got to have three of them right at the end cause, uh, they were putting them away and Mr. Ellingson or excuse me, Laurel was putting them away and she let me sneak off with three of the last ones that were there. So, uh, that was uh, muy delicioso, as the Spanish would say. Um, but boy, that was uh, <clears throat> a really a big bright spot for a, for a lot of people, you know, teachers, but parents and kids. And I saw former students. Yeah, wow. Um, so that was a really really cool thing. I'm hoping that that happens every year. I mean, that's a really cool thing to do at the end of a school year. So. Uh, thanks to those that came, you really made my day, and uh, man, it made me made me feel like I was on top of the world. So I really appreciate that a lot. A few things to remind you about: uh, use today and tomorrow uh, to complete any unfinished work that you uh, haven't done. If you've got some random math sheets to do in that math packet, or uh, a Scholastic News, or a Studies Weekly, you know. Uh, do that. Obviously, your AR, you have a couple days yet to get your goal. A lot of kids have gotten it, so I want you to get those. Remember, two more days, 
one of your prizes. You get the Jimmy's uh, kids meal if you get your goal. Uh, so if, uh, you know, if you've made your goal, you will get that from me soon. Well, when will you get it? You're going to get it tomorrow because I'm doing uh, home visits uh, tomorrow. Uh, that's my other big news. Uh, really looking forward to that. I'm going to start out in the country and kind of work my way to the north and then kind of go to the east and then go south and then I'll end up in town. So um, really looking forward to seeing you in person. And the parade was wonderful, but I only got to talk to you for like a minute. Uh, I'll be staying a little bit longer than that. So um and got some great surprises. Uh, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring with and show you. I'm not telling you a thing, uh, other than the fact that I'm coming on Friday. So that's gonna be a, a really a really great time for me. I'm just hoping and praying that the, the weather is good because it sounds like there could be some rain. So um, hopefully the weather will behave itself. So today, what are we doing today? Well, uh, like every day for reading, you do your AR. Okay, continue to read. Um, math, uh, do your mad minute every day, do that every day. You have your journal options for you. Uh, go ahead and do those optional things. You have keyboarding, you have brain pop, you have IXL, uh, send a teacher an email, write a letter to someone, pick up the phone and call a, a loved one or a family member or a relative or a friend. Um, get outside, do some chores, clean your room, learn how to bake bread, <laughs> Learn how uh, to, uh, you know, to um, do something brand new, okay? So um, you have plenty of options. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to make um, these. We're going to make some kites, all right? These are three different ones, and your kite will look uh, however you want to make it. So I'll teach you how to make the kite. All right, and then uh, you guys can go at it and design your own kite however the way you want it. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's pretty simple, okay, but you got to do some measuring and you have to just do some careful listening to ter and determine uh, how uh, how long each side is, but it'll you guys will figure it out. You will need the things you will need for the art project. You'll need a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, anything that has a straight edge, so like your whiteboard. Uh, so that would be good. Uh, you just need a pencil, and then you need scissors. You need the bag of uh, with string and the fabric in it, and you need a stapler. If you don't have a stapler, if you use glue or tape, that would also work, but a stapler would be best. And uh, so those are the things that you need for the art project. Um, and I just got to give a shout out. Man, look at these kids. Look at these kids. See those kids? Man. I got to teach you kids for nine months, six and a half months in this classroom, and then two and a half months distance learning. You know, I, I prefer the in the classroom part over anything, but I will tell you, you really made the distance learning part as is, is, is good as it could have ever have been. Um, and uh, man, I can't wait to teach you in sixth grade too. I just, I can't wait. So uh, thank you for everything. Now, I remember taking that picture. Mrs. Helgeson came in and snapped that picture. It was toward the beginning of the school year, and I can tell because there's still leaves and apples on that tree. So it was still early in the year, and uh, man, what a fun group. Fun group of kids. I do have a sponsor, so get those art project uh, supplies out, and uh, I'll be back after these messages. Look, the way I figure... If we all work together and cooperate, we may be able to bust out of this zoo. My teeth can saw through these bars. If one of you can hold me up and use me like a saw. I could hold you up and saw. Good. Now, once the bars are cut, we'll have a six-foot drop down to the street below. I can crawl down the wall. And I can jump that far. Yes, but I can't do either of those things. Do we have a rope? No, but we have a snake. Yeah! I could hang out the window, and you could climb down me. Great. Now, we have the money we'll need, but how can we carry it while we're climbing out the window? There's no way I can carry it. Well, I won't hold it in my mouth. That's dangerous. Look, I have a pocket. Great. Right. Okay, it's all set. The truck will come by for us in one hour, right? Right. 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 
Where's the truck? Let's go. See? What did I tell you? We all worked together and we made it. We're out. And here's the truck. And I have the money. All right, boys. What'll it be tonight? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Isn't that funny what animals can do? Uh, you know, I like how they break out of the zoo, but doesn't that look an awful lot like a jail? And all that work just to buy, buy some ice cream. Watch out for those animals at the zoo next time. Uh, all right, so like I said, we're going to make some kites, all right? So these are some kites I've had through the years. Uh, these two kites are made from kids in Barnesville. Gosh, they're, uh, let's see, they would be juniors in high school right now. This one was made by a uh, student in Holly. Uh, some of you might know him, Braden Aldinger. He's a seventh grader. Uh, he was a tremendous artist. Uh, he made this really cool Vikings one. So, uh, the kite that you're going to make, you can do whatever you want to it. You can draw, color, whatever it is you want to do. Something that tells something about you. Something that you like to do uh, that's a hobby of yours. Or you can make whatever kind of design you want on it. You know, if you want to make like a, a striped line pattern or circles or hearts or what, whatever. You can decorate your kite however you want to decorate it. All right. But the things that you should have. Hold on. Okay, Aha, I got my stuff. You should have uh, crayons or markers, all right? You can use crayons or markers, whatever you want to decorate. Uh, you should have your string, okay? You should have a piece of string. You should have uh, some pieces of fabric, okay? And I'll get the ones that I have. And, you know, boys and girls, I just kind of put together colors that I thought maybe you'd like. So if you got a color you didn't like, I really apologize. But just some pieces of fabric that look like this you should have, I don't know, like five, six, ten pieces. I don't remember. Um, and then uh, you're also going to need a ruler or a straight edge, all right? So here's what you're going to do. Here's a sheet of paper that I have uh, right here, and I am going to make one little adjustment here real quick before I get started, okay? Because I need to show you this top part. So what you need to do on the very, very top part is uh, you're going to use your ruler, and you're going to see that this piece of paper, you need it the long and skinny way, and you're going to see that this piece of paper is exactly one foot uh, wide, all right? So one foot is 12 inches. So what you need to do is find the halfway point of 12, which is what? Six, right? So what you're going to do, now I would do this in pencil first. I am a trained professional, which is why I'm doing it in marker, all right? But if I were you, I would do it in pencil, all right? Uh, so you're going to come up here. And where it says six, I would put, hold the ruler a little bit below, not at the very top, so you can see the very top. And what you're going to do is right where it says six, you're going to just put a little dot right there. So you know exactly where the six, uh, where the six inch spot is. See, take a little look. See my black dot? I think you can see it there. There we go. All right. And then what you're going to do, you're going to do the same thing on the bottom. All right. So what I'm going to do for the bottom, check it out. Okay, I'm going to turn my uh, ruler upside down, but I see where the 6 is. It actually looks like a 9 right in the middle, but I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to put my dot there on the very bottom so I know where the top middle is and the bottom middle. Okay? All right, the next thing you're going to do, over on each side, all right, over on each side, what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing on each side. You're going to come, put the top of the ruler on the very top, uh, right side and you're going to come down to where you see six inches and on the right side put a little dot here all right and then you're going to do the same thing on the left side okay same thing on the left side i'm going to move this down here's the top of the ruler top of the worksheet here i'm going to flip it around actually so i can see uh the ruler and the edge of the paper go to the middle where it says six put my little dot where it says six and now you have four points you should have a point on the top bottom middle and then on the left and the right side six inches down from the top all right now comes a pretty simple part you're going to connect the dots that's that's easy so make sure when you hold your ruler down you spread your hand out don't hold your ruler when you hold a ruler and you're drawing a straight line don't hold your hand in one spot because if you do that and you press the marker or the pen or the pencil it's going to get crooked all right so uh 
Connect the two dots. We see the dots, spread your fingers out. And again, you should use a pencil. Okay, I'm just using a marker so you can see it, all right? So I'm connecting the line there. See that? And then I'm gonna come down here, spread my fingers out. Okay, and I will connect the dots here again. So now I have my top part of my kite, okay? See, coming together nicely. Now the bottom part, <laughs> if you have a ruler that's one foot, you're not going to quite reach the bottom. You're not. It's, there's going to be a little bit of a gap. So you're just going to have to kind of eyeball it. What I would do is put the ruler in the middle. So there's just a little gap on either side. That's what I would do. And this is why you're, you're going to use pencil because if you goof up, you can erase it. Okay. See how I did that? And now I can just fill this gap in right here on the left side and then do the same thing on the right side on the bottom. Okay. So there is my... Uh, bottom close enough, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the right side same thing on the right side uh, I'm going to kind of eyeball it. So I'm in between the top and the bottom Okay, I'm going to draw that line just like so And I'll connect the rest of it right here Just like this and then the bottom just like this Let me get this done here and then boom all right now if you totally mess up if you totally mess up Guess what you can do? You can just flip to the back and then do it over on the back, all right? So here's what you do. So once you get that part done, then it's the really fun part. You're gonna take your crayons, your markers, whatever you wanna use, and you're gonna decorate your kite. Again, however you want. This uh, young man, he made a twins kite. This one here, he just drew a picture of himself walking out on a nice spring day tree there. Uh, and then uh, I showed you the Vikings one there. Uh, now, the unfortunate thing is about these kids got to use something called cray paws, okay? They're, uh, these kind of, they're called oil pastels. They're like these really fancy schmancy crayons. Um, I didn't send those home with you because I didn't want them to get broken. They're kind of messy. But crayons, markers, whatever you want to use. So uh, what you do is this. You decorate your kite however you want it to be decorated, all right? Don't cut it out until you're done decorating. Okay, it's easier to color it as a full sheet of paper. And if you go outside the lines, hey, no big deal. You just you're gonna cut it out anyway. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut this out. All right, you're gonna cut it out, and then what you need to do is that fabric I was talking about. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take some pieces of fabric. All right, you're gonna take some pieces of fabric, and here's my string. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the fabric and you're going to tie uh, it in a, in a knot. So I'm going to go loop through one time. And then I'm going to loop through one more time. So two times. So that makes a knot. There's no way that that thing is going to come out. Then what you do is you continue to take the fabric and tie another one on here. And then here. And then here. So spread them out. So if we look at this one right here, we can see that we've got uh, all the pieces of fabric spread out. <clears throat> okay, uh, and then the last part is this is where you need that stapler if you have one It seems to work the best, but if you don't you can use glue You can try it if you have duct tape or any sort of sticky tape All you're gonna do is you're gonna take the string. Okay, if you have a stapler You're gonna staple it on uh, through the, uh, the the string and the bottom of the kite All right, if you don't have that you can simply just glue it on you can try to glue it on uh, or tape it on, okay? And then, uh, yeah, I would I would cut it out first and then attach this, okay? Uh, and then that's it. So what I'd really love for you to do, do the kite project. You have no other assignments, okay? Have some fun with it. Uh, again, you can decorate your kite however you want. Take a picture of it, send it to me. It would really make my day to see, uh, see this project uh, come to life because... Uh, you know, that's one thing I probably miss the most, doing these little projects with you. Uh, so have fun with the kite. Take a picture of it. Send it to me because I'd love to see it. And now for a break. Intensive. Hmm. I'll bet they won't have... <gasps> wow, they have it. Canned bread. This town is great. Mmm. Canned bread. Canned bread. But you didn't know that was a real thing. Well, in the world of SpongeBob, it is. Um, and in real life, it is. I'll tell you in a second. Well, in that episode, 
If you're not familiar with the show SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, that particular character, that green character, his name is Squidward Tentacles. And he lives in a place called Bikini Bottom with all the other uh, characters. And Squidward's kind of a crabby guy. He's never really happy with anything. He complains a lot. So he has this genius idea that he's going to move to a place called Squidville, where all the other uh, people there are squids just like he is. And it's perfect. But then after living there for a few days, he realizes it's almost too perfect and he misses his friends and his old home. Uh, so, and yeah, canned bread is a real thing. If you go to YouTube and you type in canned bread, you'll see some videos of people buying it in a can, opening it and, you know, eating it. Ugh, it looks absolutely disgusting. I've never tried it, so I can't say for sure, but it just, it doesn't look very uh, appetizing. So if you're really bored, you can check that out. Okay, a few things uh, to look forward to today. Look for an email. I'll send it to your parents as well. I'll be sending a schedule of my visits tomorrow. All right. I'm still working on the final plans because I've gotten a couple emails from uh, some parents out there that says, oh, I'm I'm going to be home at this time, but I won't be at that time. So I'm going to have to change my schedule a little bit, but you'll get that sometime, hopefully late in the morning. Because of that, I'm going to be at home with my boys here today and my wife's at work and um, it's it's kind of crazy with them. So for me to get that done, I, I, I won't be able to have a hangout today, unfortunately. So I'm really sorry about that. Uh, we will do another hangout at some point um, in the future. And in, an, in another video, I will just kind of explain, um, you know, your Google accounts and, and all that stuff over the summer. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll do that in a later video. So just, uh, bear with me there. But, uh, you know, in the, in the meantime, if you have a question or you, uh, uh, you want to reach out, you can always get a hold of me. You know how to do that. Um, but no hangout uh, today just because of, I've got to do a lot of teacher stuff. So, uh, keep that in mind. And yeah, I, I'm very sad because this is the last official teaching video. I will not be teaching you any more lessons of uh, any kind, uh, for third grade, so that makes me very sad. Uh, I cannot believe that the distance learning is done, gone, pretty much gone. And uh, man, it's 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 kind of been my new normal. It's been your new normal, and for it to be gone now, it's always hard, you know, with teaching because that's my job, right? That's just what I do. And then every summer I get into the summer, it's like, okay, well now what? And especially this summer, because I can't coach baseball because everything's just kind of shut down yet. Um, so, you know, the, the good thing about it is though, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm very tired. Okay. And, uh, it's going to be a great time for me to kind of get caught up on my rest and to get caught up on some family time. And, uh, I know for you, uh, out there too, it's been probably some stressful days and uh, for you to not have to do work and, you know, try to read to get your goals and all the other stuff. It's going to be just nice not to have to worry about that. But with that said, I mean, you know, you've probably heard of the, the, the saying or term someone wins the lottery, you know, they win money. Well, I tell you what, I won the distance learning lottery uh, teaching you. You guys have just been phenomenal. I'm so proud of you, and uh, I can't uh, I can't wait to see you again and see you all together in a group. And I've said that before, and I'll say it again. When the time is right, and then we can do this, <clears throat> we're going to have a a gathering of some kind. We will do that. I that's a promise. I, I will definitely keep to you, and want to make sure that that happens. So, uh, thanks again for coming out to the parade. If you were able to make it. Uh, highlight of the distance learning so far, I think, uh, just to see all the people and so many great parents and folks in our town supporting teachers. My goodness, it made made, made us feel like, you know, uh, kings and queens of the universe. It really did. So thank you for coming out there. Uh, look for uh, my fourth bonus video tonight, 8 o'clock. Uh, we've got eight kids left to highlight. So who will it be tonight? You'll have to tune in at 5 o'clock, uh, and you, if you click the link a little bit earlier, you'll see the, the funky countdown. It's kind of cool. I like the music that goes to it. And uh, so I'm going to leave you with a clip from one of my favorite Bugs Bunny episodes, okay? I'm not showing you the whole thing, but Bugs Bunny 
is uh, taking on this wrestler for the World Wrestling Championship. And for the first part of the wrestling match, Bugs Bunny really struggles against this guy. And he uh, uh, has a really hard time against him. But then Bugs Brant Bunny uses his strength, his strength up here in his mind to outsmart uh, the wrestler. And uh, uh, you'll see how Bugs Bunny wins the wrestling match. It's one of my all-time favorite uh, Bugs Bunny Looney Tunes clips. So I know there's been a lot of you that have requested Bugs Bunny. And uh, and uh, so here you go for, for all of you out there. So enjoy this clip. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow at your home. It's going to be just, it's going to be icing on the cake for, for me. So until I see you again, make Thursday tremendous, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye. What are you anyway? A wise guy? Drop in the sail. Oh, just passing by. You understand it? Sorry, you think you gotta go, Crusher. Been nice seeing you. Day. Oh, you look tired, Crusher. Why don't you rest up on this nice soft floor for a few minutes before you go? That a boy. And now we'll just pin those little old shoulders to the little old mat, and uh, the winner. Just passing by, boy. 